baby, there's nothing left because I'm caffeinated as fuck and you're here watching today's video. Why? Because you probably sell ads on Facebook, right? You post ads on Facebook trying to get your little wee wee wet. Get some bitches how to make money. But you go on Facebook and you post your beautiful, well-made ads that you've taken hours to make and they flop hard. And the reason they flop hard, well... It's not because your product is shit, right? That's, it's impossible. No, you're telling me what I'm selling is shit. That's why I'm not making money. Impossible. Go fuck yourself if you ever think that. Well, clearly, as a fundamental, I like to call, you know what? I should change my YouTube name to fundamental guy. Because as a fundamental, if you're not making any money, usually it's because there's two reasons. Either what you're selling is shit or you're not telling anybody. The messaging there is not good enough for people to be aware of whatever you're selling is actually good. But basically, I'm going to explain to you the whole process of a funnel, a funnel that actually will make you money. And the idea, because that's basically what we do, right? We're going to go dive deep into the fundamentals of a marketing funnel a funnel what is a funnel well a funnel basically is you're getting traffic and what's traffic well it's a nice word where dickheads like me call human beings like genuine human beings who have a heart who have feelings who have emotions identify them as traffic they're not human i'm joking but the real human beings on social media on online the internet right and you're driving them from an uh, social media platform to your ad to your ad to a website where your app website is to a checkout so then you can get a purchase so then you can make profit so then you can get bitches right so to simplify to simplify what a funnel is I, it's again fundamentals right so basically what a f we're gonna do my best i'm so not good what a funnel is, is two things, right? You have to get attention. Oh, wow. This is going to be amazing. Of, yeah, you're going to have attention. And then you're going to have, I'm reading off my notes. People need to believe what you say, right? Holy moly. This is bear with me so a funnel basically a good working funnel is you first have to grab their attention after obviously scrolling through fucking hours of garbage brain rot skibbity toilet garbage you have to get their attention and once you get their attention they have to believe what you say now how do you get attention there you you, you know right hooks are everywhere but basically the believe what you say is very important so there's two factors that you can do to get people whatever you say right so you can have direct results testimonials right i'm gonna write testes 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 right and then we're gonna have um or not not like testimonials but science science that's science science proof like scientific facts all right so basically the shitty kindergarten writing that you're looking at right now is the fundamentals of what makes a good funnel and these fundamentals need to be applied to not just your ads but to everything right so it can you know, either be your your ads, right? Or the copywriting or like, let's say the headline of your Facebook ad. So the headline and even your website, right? So this needs to have this. Wait, that, that's a horrible. This needs to have this. This, this is the fundamental, right? So basically, what we're going to do is give... I'm going to give you some like key tricks on how to do this, right? So let's start off with the 
with the headline, right? We're going to start off with the headline, okay? So headline is something that I notice a lot of people doing on Facebook is that they're, they're showing too much their offer. Oh my God, buy three, get two. Buy one, get one, for, buy 50%. No one gives a fuck about your offer. Let's be real. No one gives a fuck about you, how you're having a 50% sale off because no one knows who the fuck you are. They don't even... They don't even know if they want your product and you're basically saying, all right, but here's 50%. They'll be like, well, whoa, I don't even know if I want it, right? Or you're not already an established brand. You're some like some kid who's in their basement selling Chinese products, right? You're not an established brand. If Nike was to have like, say, a 50% off, people already are aware of Nike. They already have brand awareness. They then see a 50% off and be like, oh, I've always been wanting Nike shorts, but because now they're 50% off, that'll push me to buy. But you're not pushing people to buy because people don't even know who the fuck you are, right? So stop with the offers. But what you have to do as dropshippers have to have to go hard on guarantees. Guarantees are overlooked. No one in the fucking dropshipping is fucking juicing guarantees guarantees are is is a huge factor right so for a headline what i usually like to do is give them you know um again they're reading the headline so already i've gotten their attention probably from like my video hook right and so now i'm at the stage of they need to believe what i say so usually the headline let's say the headline i'm gonna write again i should have just probably typed right headline would probably have been better but you know what you guys are going to bear with me. So a headline example is I would like usually give them like a proof. So X, oh shit. X is proven. X, blah, 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 blah. And then like at the end, do like a crazy guarantee. Right? So... Let's say for an example, um, from one of my uh, last products, this um, crystal mug is proven to attract your desires within 10 days because the energy from the crystals attaches the same frequency to the universe. And then the crazy guarantee would be like, money back 30 day um if you don't attract your desire within 30 days you don't pay a single dollar you get your money back whatever so that would be like a headline right and because basically um sorry hold on um so basically yes that would be the headline okay period okay good we're good with that all right, that'll be a headline. Now let's say for the ad itself. The ad itself, I, what I usually like to do is uh, one ad setup or like um, style of ad I like to do is called. So now we're gonna go here. We're gonna drew ads, ads, right? One ad setup. Another example would be. Um, hold on. Would be. What I like to do is hook. Plus. Testies mash, mash up, mash up. So what what this really works basically? It go, again follows the same principle of this, right? Like this is important. Okay, so I get the attention through the hook, like calling out the customer. Usually it's calling out the customer, calling out the pain point, calling out the solution they want solved, right? That's so you're basically again even helping Facebook to be like, okay, if people that are want to clean their beds faster, right? If you have that hook in the ad, even Facebook knows, okay, don't target to people that are looking to buy Facebook, uh, sorry, uh, football jerseys, right? You're targeting people that have problems with cleaning their bed. So you get their attention by calling them out. Like, hello, hi, how are you? Are you, uh, are you looking to lose weight? If not, then fuck off. Don't keep scrolling. We don't even want you. But if you're looking to lose weight, watch this video. This is for you, right? That's how you have to get the attention. That's the, what the hook is for. 
then the testimonial mashup basically is following the principle of believing what you say. So you're having, again, understanding how humans are. We're very, we're very tribal creature, right? We go based off our community and our tribe. So if we have other human beings saying, I got this result, I got this result, I got this result. Like you're spamming, like I lost weight in 10 days. I lost weight in 15 days. I lost weight in a week. I lost, I lost, I weight. I lost a lot of that. You're, you're, you're mashing up a bunch of testimonials that are fucking like shoving results down the person watching's face that adds direct results, testimonials that shows proof that it makes people believe whatever the hook was saying, right? The hook was saying, you want to lose weight? We got a new product for you, right? And now with the testimonial mashup, that's what it is. Or you can even go and have a mashup of scientific proof. So let's say you have, um, uh, are you selling like those sweating belts, right? That they go around the belly. You'd be like, it's scientifically proven by fucking Andrew Huberman states that, um, you know, more sweat glands, increases fat and libido bro i don't know i'm coming up make it mumbo jumbo scientific shit and again that induces proof right and the same thing should be with your website if with your website don't don't just have like random shit on your website especially i've had made a video talking about this the first part of your website where people click on the shop now right the first section of your website is the most important and what is that your product images so in your product images like i told you one have to look branded and the reason why it has to look branded is because when you have let's say because you're going to have a guarantee in your first hero product image i've already explained that in my last video right so if you have a guarantee Plus, you kind of look branded. You say, like, I have, like, 10,000, you know, happy customers, blah, blah, blah. And you're, like, not new. Like, you look like an, a brand that's been a while, right? So what is what what thought process is going into the customer's head? Well, they're basically saying, okay, this guy has a crazy guarantee, right? And if he's also adding it together, not new, like, they've been here for a while, with this crazy guarantee, wouldn't they run out of business? Let's say, for an example, if the, whatever they're promising, if it didn't work, you give 100% their money back, they would they would be out of business. So if they're still up and running, they're like an established brand, right? And they have a crazy guarantee, that builds trust. That builds your trust, right? So basically, when someone clicks on shop now, you have to follow the same principles of getting their attention, which you've already done. They've clicked on your website, right? But you get their attention by stating the guarantee. And now you have to give the persona of that you're not new, very good product images, high quality product images. And you also have to give a lot of testimonials. You have to, first of all, state the desire. I, I Again, this is all from my last video. I have a five image structure like row by row, like when they swipe, right? Okay, first is offer and guarantee. Second is what's the desire? How does it fulfill the desire? Fill the desire and then testimonials, right? But basically, I wanted to come in today's video and to tell you that everything a part of your funnel, you know, you're going from um, social media, SS, to ads, again, to website, to website, to checkout, whatever. I'm just gonna do checkout. Basically, this is your funnel. A customer is going through here to here, right? And in each scenario, you have to have this fundamental attention and believe what you say. That's literally the only thing that's making, that's stopping you from selling a great product and having a working funnel. Like that's genuinely the fucking fundamental. I am li literally should be called a fundamental guy. Like that's like, because a lot of people overlook it for how simple this is. But if you're not profitable, if you're not making sales, you're fucking up on this. This is the reason why you're fucking up. Oh shit. This is the reason why you're, fu you're not making money. If you're not making money, if you're not profitable, something's wrong here. 
and it's really easy. That's why you overlook it, but it's genuinely simple, not easy. Sorry, it's not easy. It's simple. So if you're not making money, you have to be like, am I getting attention? Are people believing what I'm saying? Or you go into the deeper fundamental, which I always talk about, which I'm not going to go in this video because I already have videos talking about that, but the product market fit. Maybe you're just not having a good product market fit, right? Market fit. But basically, when you have a good product market fit, right, you've done your research, you did your data, you know that this product market fit is a good match. This funnel, this is the only thing, these are the only two fundamentals that you have to focus on your funnel, uh, on your, in your profitable funnel is attention and believing what, and the customers believing what you say. That's the only two things. If you're not, there's something wrong with it and you got to go fix it. You got to see why am I not, am I not getting, am I not grabbing the attention enough? There's so many uh, videos giving hooks, so I'm not going to tell you how to fucking grab attention. You, a lot of people know how to grab attention. But then it's usually this is the issue. You're not convincing people enough about what you say. Because if, for an example, like, look, bro, I'm repping. No one knows this brand, right? No one knows this brand. But Man Made is like a Shopify brand from, um, you know, uh, Canada, where I am. Montreal, actually. I'm wearing their, I'm actually wearing their underwears. Man Made. And their, their marketing angle is like, um, it's made from... Uh, what's the fucking material? Oh, shit. It's like, it's made from, not polyester, like, um, Model fabric. And Model fabric doesn't have plastic, and you don't have plastic in your balls. And that's their angle. Like, you don't get plastic in your balls. You don't ride up. Your balls are nice and comfy, and it is very true, by the way. They do have a good product. But that's one reason why they're a successful business. But two, if you go see on their ads... It's all spamming testimonials of no more plastic in my balls. My balls don't ride up. My balls don't ride up. My balls don't ride up. It's just spamming that one main product market fit. But basically, they got a good product market fit and they're spamming the believing what you say. And that's the reason why I bought it is because I got so many testimonials, even in real life, people telling me like, it's true. Your balls don't ride up. That's why I bought I believed what they now what they're saying. So it's the fundamental of your dropshipping Chinese product store is if you want to get sales, you need to be able to make the customer believe whatever you're saying is true. If people knew that you had the cure to cancer, they would pay thousands and thousands of dollars, like millions that actually, sorry. If people believe what you're saying, I'm not like if you can go say I cure cancer, but people don't believe what you're saying, no one's going to buy. But if people are believing what you're saying, it's really true. Oh my God, they have the cure to cancer. They'll pay millions. So never lower, lower the price if you're not getting sales. Just another little tip. But basically, the believing what you say is one of the most fundamental of a profitable funnel. And that was the lesson today. So get your fucking, get your, get your facts straight, your scientific proof straight. And uh, you'll you'll get some fucking sales and profitable. And then you can finally afford some bitches. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, just don't jerk off for a day. That would be that would make me happy, right? And um, yeah, thank you for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you at the fucking top.